Hi, I'm Calvin with the weather. So many people have ja died due to killer storms or snow drifts up to five feet. Ice balls the size of basketballs and chills of up to minus more than 40,000 million degrees Celsius. Oh my god! Uh, Emergency! Emergency! Sorry, you're going to tell the Hang on, wait till I see Hello, and welcome to the sports news. Our main stories today are the, the Dolphin Cup final. We have Gavin Jellar at the Columbium Stadium. Over to you. Gavin. Well, it's been a, a spectacular match. Uh, the Rudolphs team won 70 0 against Santos. However, there has been something of an incident. What was the incident? Uh, Rudolph was quite badly injured um, after Santa tackled him. Oh, what will happen? Is he bad? Uh, yes, it is quite. It is a very serious injury, uh, which is worrying Santa with um, Christmas coming up so soon. Oh no, what will happen? Well, I, there's speculation at the moment that uh, Christmas may have to be postponed. Oh dear, it can't be. Well, there seems to be little alternative. Okay, thank you, Gavin. We're here at the scene of an arrest. Police! Don't move! Keep your hands up! Arrest for violation of Drugs Act 1987. Anything you say or do will be used against your corporate prosecution. You have the right to remain silent. You will be taken to police custody for six hours and you will be interrogated by a checker. <laughs> for what? He's clean. Come on. You know, on the matter of Rudolf, George Humpelkumpel, the president of Lapland, has spoken out at a press conference earlier today. Here it is. Good afternoon. Uh... My name is George Humplecrump and I'm the president of that land. Uh, on the matter of Rudolph, uh, he has been treated in that land, that land, that land, that land, that land hospital. Uh, he has major fractures in the nose and the skull. He has broken his wrist and, and the, uh, two of his paws. Uh, I give you all the hope and best for the future, and wish you have a very, very merry Christmas. And he has promised families that there will be presents at Christmas time. I also promise that um, that every child in Lapland will have a present uh, under the level pool at Christmas time. Thank you. Now we're going live to top secret Russian military. My plan for world domination involves melting the polar ice caps and then we buy all the skyscrapers on level 14 and above. No! <laughs> when the sea level rises to level 14, we will worship our world. But unfortunately I need 16 quadrillion million million quadrillion pounds. The plan cannot fail, Voshkov. I got big boogie. I know, Victor. I know. Ah. The plan can't fail because the magnetic force of the earth will not stand. World go boom! World can't go boom. We haven't got a moon base yet, which is what I was planning on telling you. We need the moon base, Victor, because the bluff, the sloth, the sloth. The moon base hasn't started yet. The Russian scientists are still stuck on the toilet from the past you gave them. They have constipation after seven days. <laughs> and they have headaches too. They need a new friend. But listen, we have to complete the moon base by January the 21st. Otherwise. No world go boom? World go boom, Victor. World go boom. Yay! We cannot build the moon base. We do not have uh, enough resources. So your plan will not work. Vector will not see the world go boom. No world go boom. <coughs> world will go boom, Victor. Because when we make that boom this, we launch all our nuclear missiles at George Bush. At <laughs> they go boom, world go boom. And Russia rules. I do this for Mother Russia. 